Okay, guys. So uh, you might know from my channel the cartoon I did rigging tutorial, and many of you actually had many problems in making the rig scalable, which is not actually that complicated, and that's why it was not covered into the tutorial. Just to try to make the tutorial uh, quicker, shorter. But since many of you asked for it, I finally find, found some time to do it, and so let's actually do that together. So if you go in the part 2A, I think there are the files there, there might be in other videos I didn't check, but here there is a scene file, so the final one. So we're actually going to open that. There we go. This is actually Maya 2016, so uh, it's one of the first few times I used this, so I might be bit slow in finding the stuff because they change a lot of stuff icons but other than that should be fine so this is our rig okay so this final one we have the main group uh, let's actually show the whole rig I think the bones are hidden there we go so this is our rig so let's actually make a main um, control let's see Nerps primitive, circle, there we go. So let's actually move that somewhere near. So let's just snap it here. Okay, something like that. Looks good. So let's call it main. I don't remember I which convention I used. Okay, capitalize C and T. Something like that. Okay, good. So basically when we move that we want to move everything. Okay, so basically we are going to do constraint. Let's do apparent. Okay, that's all good. And constraint scale. And of course you're going to get a shitload of uh double transformation. Okay. So in order to fix that, first of all we want to move from the moved group to all everything which is skinned. Okay, so for example, let's create an empty group which is called world null. Okay, we're gonna put in there everything. And of course, in your rig, you're going to make that that is not moved uh, in a correct hierarchy and everything, but for now, we're just gonna leave it there. So, we are, first of all, we're going to move the geometry there. And uh, let's see. Okay, so that's better already. Actually, let me also zero out um, this control so it's easier to come back there. Oops. Oh, come on. No, oh, sorry. Wrong, wrong parent. I don't even know how to use my anymore. There we go. Just parent that. And now our control is going there main grp there we go so now our control now is zeroed out let's move it away so we see that we have a lot of double transformation on the curves and if we recall correctly we have some skinned curves in there here we go those one so you see those shouldn't be moved so are all the low curves because of course they are being deformed already by the skin cluster so select them and let's put them in the world there we go so you see we already have one less double transformation so our curves are there same things for those ones which are actually deformed by a blend shape so let's actually grab those and let's move those there okay so we just have a double transformation left in our controls, turning locator because the locators are moved in war space. So let's actually see. We can grab those two. So we have two options here with also other things. We can just kill the inheritance transform, or we can just move it away, uh, moving in the war control. So let's move into the war. Let's see what happens. I think they are gonna actually going to keep the position because this is not directly connected by this parenter. So Let's actually do that. There we go. It's actually everything in place. 
looks like so show bones there we go so if I move this oh good actually looks like control are still staying in war position are they yeah so how are those control let's see oh no sorry it might just be the the move tool which one is the move tool now is this one move tool alright so I don't want it in here so let's see axis orientation war oh my god they changed that there we go now okay sorry it was fine so also the controls are fine it looks like it's moving let's try to scale alright everything looks in place alright everything up and running guys so this was just a quick tutorial on how to make the rig scalable hopes um, it's helpful for you guys so I know there is a lot of stuff going on in the rig but you just need to be aware of how stuff works so for example uh, ooh, sorry no 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 just division by zero is not good Mm, the wire deformer. We also have wire deformer in there, which actually been moved around. But why do they don't? Sorry, why don't they give double transformation? Because wire deformers compute the deformation as a delta from the base wire. Okay, so from the base curve. That's why. Um, um, sorry. That, that's why when we pull this up, the deformation we have is this one. But if we grab the base wire and the actual curve together oh my god which one it is I have no idea which one which curve it this one is I think it's this one uh, that's another one which is controlled by that one here we go the high resolution one if we usually if we move this together no deformation was added because only the delta is computed so uh, I can move those, those two together and not get double transformation also those two will stay close together so I won't have to mess around with, uh, with the scale the fall off drop off distance sorry of the deformer okay so there are just a few things you need to, to keep in mind when when you do these scaling things but overall it's always the same t tips that you, you need to be aware of in order to make the rig scalable of course there are cases which are more complicated but that's not one of those cases anyway so I hope this is helpful and see you next time